early 20th century, the U.S. government had rejected the promise of the two paths, painting the native nations into a corner of a landscape entirely transformed. By the year 1900, um, the native nations really hit the nadir. They were desperately poor. They were confined to reservations. They were hungry. They were in ill health. The United States, uh, by this point, had already begun the process of erasing uh, native people from the history books. That is as close as, um, as native people came to extinction. They were stripped of everything. They were humiliated, degraded, and the whole effort was to detribalize the native person, to sever the ties between the children and their native peoples from their parents, from everything that they knew. Kill the Indian, save the man. So dire the situation, the U.S. government realized that something had to change. They tried many things, even the drastic measure of terminating tribal governments altogether. Federal government had a policy to assimilate us, not to integrate us like other people of color, but to assimilate us and we would no longer exist. We probably lost a hundred tribes in that process of termination. Had termination succeeded, the American government could simply ignore the past as if the past had never happened and that Indian people had never been here. Termination was such a threat, the tribes really rallied together to oppose it. And the tribes found that when they were assembled and working together, that they actually were more powerful than anyone realized. My gun teaches of thy people your dying. With the law and the treaties on their side, the Indian nations banded together. They came through grassroots and official organizations alike. They combined old knowledge with new legal strategy. They appealed to Congress and approached the masses their message was cleared, not just civil rights, sovereign rights, treaty rights. We have the right to declare our own policies, our own standards, and so forth. We are governments within the American system of governments. Change came slowly, but it came. We started on a new road, which led us to justice in the treatment of those who were the first Americans. As you well know, our history has not always been a proud one, but our future can be, and that is up to us. Together we can open the greatest era of cooperation, understanding, and respect among our people ever. Now I see for the first time a spark of hope maybe this is what your leaders were looking for when they said, Though we may be crushed, our spirits will never be defeated. It's not over. And the Indians have never given up. And I suspect they never will give up.